Hello, hello, everyone. I'm going to share this. Let's do it. Nope, I'm not inviting people. How is everyone doing? Let me just share. Awkward silence as I try to share this. Let's see. All right, here we go. Okay, so I shared it. All that good stuff. Hello, hello. Hey, Steph. Hello, everybody. How is it going? Happy Lions Gate Portal and all of that good stuff. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, you know, today is a fantastic day. Uh, in fact, oh, hello. Um, to really decide what you want to bring into your life and really think it into reality. Make it happen. Um, but note, we can manifest all we want, but without action steps, it's really nothing, right? Nothing's going to happen. I always say that like, um, yes, chickles. You know, I always say that, you know, like if you want to manifest something, but there's no action steps, it's just a wish, right? You're just kind of hoping it will happen. So you need to bring in those action steps, folks. So you know, use that fiery lion's energy and really decide what it is you want to bring in. Um, what I'm, <laughs> yes, I know it is, you know, it, it's one of those things. It is. And I think, you know, sometimes we get so caught up in all of the manifesting things, all of that. And, you know, and I'm even saying that I'm writing a book about manifesting with the moon. And, you know, and it's one of those things I'm just trying to make it so it's not just like, oh, throw out, throw out your little wishes everywhere and look at the moon and things will fall into your lap. That's actually not how it happens. Like, you need to really know what it is that you want, know what that intention is, know why you want it. That's also a really important thing is knowing why you want what you want. Because sometimes when you start thinking about it, you know, and you're just like, oh, wait a minute, maybe that isn't what I really want. And it is something else. But that can also segue into what you really want too. It might just be like the little bridge, the little bridge. So anyway, just saying, let's take advantage of this energy though today. Um, and, you know, keep your thoughts positive, keep things, you know, yeah, you know, it may not seem like things are going to happen exactly the way you want or when you want, but they're going to happen. So we have to just trust the universe, you know, and that also lets the universe know, you know, we got all the portals open, you know, we got to let the universe know we're ready to receive. So that's my two cents. I hope everyone's doing okay, actually. I, I have this wicked twitch in my eye today and it's driving me crazy, crazy. So what else is going on? Um, we haven't really been doing too many interviews. Honestly, I've just been having so many in-person things going on that I just haven't. And all the people that I'm trying to schedule have in-person things going on. So it's kind of been bananas, but I'm hoping in the fall things are start settling down and we'll get some more people in. I have like a whole list that some publishers have sent me that they want, um, interviewed. So that's really exciting. Um, our pre-sale is still up for order. Um, $14.95, so you get it um, a discounted rate, and that's limited, and I don't, I think it's only going to go for another week or so, so definitely take advantage of that if you so desire. Um, hello, hello, if you've just joined. So, um, if you don't know me, my name is Jen, here from the Cardamancer Magazine, so um, I am going to be doing our zodiac readings for the week. So I will be doing um, a tarot card and a crystal card today. It's just kind of what I have and what happened, what went on. And, you know, I did wake up, I had bigger plans, but you know what? The crystal cards were like, now nah, you can come play with us. So I'm actually just got this deck. It's a newer deck and it is so freaking adorable, like stupid adorable. That's really what it is. And I will show you in just a minute. I just want to shuffle them a little bit. And um, it's called the Boo Tarot. So, 
And I will, ta I will tag it in the post too, so that if you are so inclined, this was, it was a little bit more expensive than some of the decks that I usually get, um, or acquire, I guess. Luckily, because I do a lot of reviews over on my channel at Stardust Wonder Tarot, um, I am lucky that a lot of, a lot of times they just send me decks, but there are always a few that I just have to buy. Hello, everyone that just hopped on. Happy Lionsgate. So, I'm going to show you here in a second. I'm just trying to trying to shuffle them. Actually, in the cardstock is really nice. They shuffle really well. So, first, let's show you the box here. It's the Boo Tarot. Look how freaking cute this is. Like, stop it. And then here are the card backs. Look at them. How cute. And I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm trying to find where the glare is. I have my window open and it was kind of cloudy because it's super humid here. And then all of a sudden it, of course, got sunny, but I'm kind of lazy and I don't want to get up and shut the window because, you know, like once you get comfortable, you know, you don't want to like get up again or I'm just lazy. I don't know. It's one of those things. I'm not sure which. <laughs> So let's see here. And you know, you are absolutely welcome to hit the little question mark bubble if you'd like me to pull a card for you. You know, a lot of times I'll just do it kind of in between everything else. But oh my gosh, you guys are gonna love these cards. They're so cute. So cute. All right. And then we're gonna use the crystal deck just because it's fun. And it actually, oh, that worked out because it's kind of iridescent like this one. Look. See, the sparkly things were calling to me today. I'm okay. I'm here for it. So these cards are actually pretty cool um, because you can use them to make crystal grids. Because a lot of times when we are doing, we want to do a crystal grid, uh, we don't have all the crystals that like are shown in the picture or whatever. You can always substitute, of course, and quartz is kind of like, it's kind of like the white candle of crystals. Like you can use it for anything, but... These are cool because they are like this hexagon shape so that if you want to make, you know, you can just kind of do one of these and make a whole crystal grid on your floor. So they're pretty handy. And then it tells you all the goodies on the back. So um, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use these. And actually, oh look, and it comes with this too, which is really nice. Especially if you're somebody just starting with crystals and you really wanna start learning about them actually just reminded me somebody just asked me about this i'm gonna have to recommend this deck for them okay it gives you this handy dandy poster and then on the back it actually shows you all sorts of stuff too so it's it's pretty cool and this i'm gonna tag this as well in you know after i'm done here but it's called the crystal grid deck um, by mystic mondays so if you're familiar with that deck so yeah anywho Let's get going, folks. Let's do this. Seriously, this deck is so cute. All right, so we're gonna start at the top. So Aries, Aries, what do we got for you? Oh my gosh, look at this, I love this, the fool. Look at, look at this sparkly ghost, mm, so cute. So Aries, you know, I think it's time for you. You know, we also too have um, a full moon this week too. So like the energy of this week is pretty much off the charts. So it's really, you know, you may be feeling things intensely. Um, just know that though. Just know that it's not necessarily like you're losing your mind or anything. Um, Aries, I just want you to know that it's like, there's so much like new energy for you. So you need to kind of sit with it and decide what you're going to take from it and what you're gonna leave. Because no matter what, no matter what's going on, no matter what's in your chart, hey, the beauty gram, it's, you still have a choice, you know? And I think that's something that people tend to forget, especially when you see it, there's all this good energy going on. And you wanna like take advantage of all of it, but all of it may not really be for you at this time. So I think, again, keeping your energy focused, Aries, is super, super important for you. And like, but, also make sure to take that, you know, like jump into the energy that's working for you with that fool. So let's see what crystal we got. Oh, I got these all sorts of like mixed up. So these, they're really hard to kind of shuffle. Not gonna lie. 
So what do we got here for you? We got the Ethiopian Opal Rebirth Portal Desire. So I love that, right? That goes right along with that full energy just that rebirth, the the portal. We have the Lion's Gate portal. I mean, Aries, it's where it's at for you. Take advantage of that energy. And you know what? It's a fiery energy, right? Leo is a fire sign. So you, it's right in your element. You're all about it. Woo. I just dropped all my cards all over. All right. So let's move on to Taurus. And if you'd like me to pull a card for you, you can go ahead and use the little question bubble uh, next to the comment bar because then it just kind of holds it for me. It makes it a little easier. And then I can make sure to not miss it. So let's see what's next. Taurus. So for Taurus, I'm just looking at this. Haha. -ha. This is a four of cups. So four of cups here. So Taurus. You know, I always, oh, thank you. Um, the, the Taurus, you know, <laughs> this is so funny, this card, look at it. Four of Cups for me is always like the meh card, right? You're just like, whatever, like, ugh, whatever. But you're so focused on what isn't working for you that you're forgetting that there are some things working for you and going to your advantage, but you're in such a funk that you're missing it right? You're not paying attention. Like this little ghost guy, he's not paying attention to that. And maybe that's like the major magical potion that he needs to catapult his life. Who knows, right? Like he'll be able to like go through all the walls or something, <laughs> haunt all the houses, <laughs> I don't know, whatever he needs to do. So Taurus, I think for you is recognizing um, how good things are for you. Even if you feel like everything is shit, like gratitude, for you this week, gratitude is really important, and gratitude's what's going to move you forward. Um, take advantage of the full moon, release that crap that's hang, you know holding you down, and really know that things aren't really as bad as you're making them out to be. And you can be stubborn. You can be stubborn, Taurus. We know this, and we love you for it. But sometimes that does hold you back a little bit. Just saying. Just saying. So let's see what crystal. And you know, if you happen to have these crystals, then you know, and I pull your sign or your earth, your your earth sign, yeah, your sun or rising sun sign, moon sign, whatever. And you resonate with that crystal. Can we some if you have it? Carried around with you for the week. So Taurus, we have an amber one. War warmth, regeneration, and grounding. So I love that. Um I love that. Well, you know what, the beauty gram, there's Taurus somewhere in your chart. So wherever that's resonating for you, it's probably where it needs to. So you take that and you run with it. So Amber, so warmth, regeneration, and grounding. And I love that grounding aspect, you know, um, because again, when we get all like in that mad energy and we're not paying attention to what's going on, that's going to be an ungrounding thing. So maybe being grounded and being grateful and that will also help ground you. So there you go, Taurus. So let's see what right here, of course, my facto wants a card. Let's do it. All right. Oh, look, we got the 10 of cups. Oh, I love that. Look at this card, how cute it is. So, you know what, Interfacto, I think for you, it's focusing on what your happy ending is. Like, what is it that you really want? Um, I feel that maybe you're getting distracted by like little situations and things going on around you. And it's like distracting you from your goal. So I think for you, especially with the focusing today with the Lionsgate, focus on what it is you really want. Figuring out what it is that you really want. Because I feel like some, you know, you may think you want one thing, but it's actually not, probably not the best for you. And you know that. So releasing that with the full moon, you know what I mean? Like you can kind of do like a one, two punch with that. And I feel like by doing that, it's going to just release a lot for you and you'll be able to see what you want and how you want it clearly, because how we want it is really important as well. So that's what I got for you. All right. 
Moving along to our Geminis. All right, Geminis. What do we got here? Oh, cute. We have the Three of Cups. You're very welcome. Look. Yes, perfect, the beauty gram. Um, look at, guys, I can't handle how cute these are. And, you know, and I have to say, I say guys to everything. I'm from New York. It's just what I do. I don't mean it in any other way besides that. So just so you know. <laughs> I feel like every once in a while I have to do that because I'm always saying it and I catch myself and I'm like, oh, crap, I better explain. Better explain. So anyway, Gemini, three of cups for you. It's all about having fun. You may have been too serious or maybe situations around you are too serious. Maybe the people around you are too serious. It's time for you to go have some fun with your friends um, and just let loose and relax and enjoy your time with them. So Gemini, that's what's on, that's what's on deck for you. Let's see what, what crystal is going to jump out here. I should put these like in a bag or something. It might be easier to like shuffle them. So I got amitriptine. Um, so amitriptine is energetic, intuitive, and connected. So I love that. You know, Gemini, that kind of goes right along with our get together with our friends and have fun and relax. And we're getting this amitriptine that's talking about being connected, energetically connected. So maybe it's time for you, Gemini, to hang out with some people who you're energetic, energetically connected with. Woo! Yes. <laughs> See, you get it. You get it. Hi, Jay. Yes, I know, right? That worked out. Oh my gosh. I try, you know, I try to remember these things. Like I try to remember that, you know, not everybody's from New York and my, I just, you get used to this. You just get used to saying these things. All right, let's see. All right, the beauty gram, let's pull you a card. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get for you. So this card, these cards don't have any edging on them, which is, you know, I think it'd be really cute if they did, but I really like the card stock. So as I'm shuffling here for the beauty gram, my deck Stardust Wonder Tarot. Oh, we're so close. We're getting there. I'm writing the guidebook now. If you want to check out some of the cards, you can go check out my um, page at Stardust Wonder Tarot. Um, and I'm so excited for it to come out. I'm so excited to get it going. I got to start talking to printers. So now it's like all the cards that I'm playing with. I'm like, hmm, how is like, I'm super inspecting every one of them. And these are like very linen-y, linen, linen-y, mm -hmm. linen finish. So, oh, all right, jumper, jumper, actually. Whoa, okay. So the beauty gram, two jumped out for you. Wow, we got the high priestess. And the Empress. <laughs> yes. It's so good. Yes. I I posted this picture. Like it was a meme of like a frog sitting on a toadstool. And it just said on the top, bitch, you're doing a good job. And I just, you know, it just made me happy. So I had to share it. For everybody, boys, girls, drafts, I don't care what you are. You're doing a good job. <laughs> so the beauty gram. Uh, look, we got, we got two big cards here for you. So the Empress and the High Priestess. So for me, I really feel like this is calling just for you. I don't know if maybe you teach or you want to teach or, um, you're in some sort like, and, and whatever it is, not, you know, whatever your craft is, I feel like maybe that that's something that you need to look into, or maybe it's something that was kind of, um, popping up for you. And I really think it's interesting because that literally when I pulled both these cards, that's the first word that pulled it, that like jumped into my head was teach. So, um, maybe there's somebody that needs your guidance this week. Maybe, um, and maybe even just as I'm saying this, somebody's popping in your head, then yes, that person needs attention or you need to be guiding somebody because it's going to be something that's going to really change, um, a situation, um, whether it's yours or theirs or both of yours, whatever it is. So I think, um, really just making sure that you are empathetic, that you are, um, really being a good listener as well. That will really help you. That's what I got. Woo. That was a deep one, huh? 
All right, where am I now? Oh, I'm a Cancer. All right, Cancers, what do we got for you? Cancer. Let's see what we got. We got the hangman. This is so cute. So, look at him, and he's all sparkly. So, um, for you, Cancers, the hangman. Um, and, you know, I feel like for you, and I really, you know, what's pointing, like, poking out for me is this, this, like, reddish color. Again, that, like, fiery energy. So, I do feel like, and then you have that moon up there. So, you know, the moon is tied to our emotions. So, I feel like for you, though, Cancers, that maybe you're making decisions based on your head and not your heart right now. And it may be kind of making you stuck or it may be keeping you from moving forward. So I really feel like that you need to kind of flip yourself around and bring some emotion into whatever it is that you're doing. Um, and, you know, a lot of times, too, though, we take emotion out of situations because it's like a protective thing. Like we don't want to get hurt. You know what I mean? So I think it's really important that you recognize that. Oh, Brandy, this deck, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, I like this deck. I said this deck is stupid cute. Yes, Steph, of course. All right, let's pull our crystal for our cancers. So we got tiger's eye, courage, optimism, and power. So I think, again, you know, and and this is actually... Um, Leo is tied to this um, crystal. So that's a really cool thing too. And I feel that, you know, you you need to kind of take that fiery energy that you have going on in your head and infuse your heart into it because um, that's going to really help you. And I, again, it's just that opening up. Like, I feel like a lot of things are just opening up um, just generally, I think for everybody, especially with everything going on. So yeah, I love that. Yes, the Geminis did get a crystal. Um, and I think it was one that was like about connecting our power. I don't remember. We can look back afterwards. I can always look back on the video. I'm trying to see if it pops up right here. I should just separate them, but you know, sometimes they want to pop up again and I just can't, you know, I don't want to hold them down. I'm not going to tell these crystals what to do. I'm so weird sometimes. Oh wait, I think this is it. Oh, yeah, I think Emma Triptine. Look at that. I asked for it and it popped up. Yes, it was. That was, see, that was good. You did good. You were, you remembered better than I did. Um, this, so let's see. Oh, yeah, Steph. Steph is my friend. All right, let's see. No, this deck is, is really brandy. If you're still here, yes, it's so cute. All right, so Steph, what are we getting for you? Let's see. Um, so we got the Seven of Pentacles. Look how cute. Look how cute that is. So, um, you know, I the Seven of Pentacles is all about working towards a goal, right? And so I feel like for you, it's just that like confirmation, like, yes, you're going in the right direction. Yes, whatever decisions you've been making lately are the good decisions that you need, that are the best decisions for you. And I just feel like this is more of a, like, keep going, keep doing the work, keep showing up because it's going in the direction that you want it to go and the universe is listening. So just keep on keeping on. So I got for you, Steph. All right. So where am I? Oh, now Leo's. Oh, Leo's. Oh, you're very welcome. Leo's. Let's see what we get for you. I just have to shuffle them. These cards really want to be shuffled. No, this deck is seriously, like, I'm telling you. It's stupid cute. So... Oh, let's see here. We have the Five of Swords for our Leos. Oh my goodness. All right. So Leos, Leos. I feel that, you know, you need to stop being so stubborn. Can that happen? Can you do that? That's a challenge for you. But I feel like that you are so stuck in a way of doing something, whether it's a situation, a relationship, um, and even just even stuck in how you want things done, that I think that it's making it very hard for people to communicate 
with you. And you never want that to happen. I mean, we all want it our way all the time, but then, you know, it's that ego thing. So I think for you, it's just kind of checking your ego and being open, like being open to what's going on and not just be like, this is how I'm doing it. And that's it. Yeah, seriously, right, Brit? No, I'm going to tag it in when I'm done, but this deck, I can't even in my life. Look, these are the backs too. Look at the backs. How cute, right? So, you know, I think that's really what it is for you, Leos. I think that you need to, it's almost like, I'm thinking about like, like stop being like a stick in the mud, you know, like stop just like digging your heels in and listen to what's going on. Listen to what other people have to say and not being stubborn. Listen, I'm just the messenger, okay, Leo? You do it, it with, with what you will. Sometimes. All right, this one popped out. Let's see what it says. <laughs> this is funny. So we got the Desert Rose, right? And that has to do with patience. This is a really good crystal for patience. So I think that really goes well with that card. Just saying. We'll just put that right there for now. <laughs> All right, so what's next? Um, uh, let's see. So if you just joined me a little bit late, just so you know, our pre-sale pre -sale is still going on for our autumn issue. Uh, it'll come out in September-ish, which also happens to be my birthday month. Woohoo! And you can go ahead in the link in our bio and get that. So Virgos. All right, Virgos. We're almost, we're getting the Virgo season. We're getting there. So Virgos for you, I got the chariot. Oh, I love that. Look how cute. Um, like it's so dumb. It's so cute. Um, so Virgos, yes, that's where we are. So you get distracted by this little bad guy. Virgos, what is it? Um, what are you, what are you going with? Like, what are you doing? It's time for you to take action. It's time for you to move forward, make those big decisions, decide, you know, really get on that path and start going down it. Whatever action steps that needs to be taken, whatever you need to release. Again, harnessing this lion's gate, full moon energy week, and really get stuff moving for you because I feel like that maybe you've been a little stagnant and you've just kind of been like holding back. This this is just about not holding back. It's time to keep it's time to move forward. Okay. I know. I just want like this whole deck tattooed on me. I don't really have that much room left. Damn it. Just gonna grow another arm. <laughs> But I do. I love all of these. So that's really weird. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I'm so weird sometimes. All right. So let's do a card we get. We got pink halite. So this is about self-love, replenishing, cherishing. So I love that with this card, Virgo, that we had gotten because it's, again, it's, it's time for you. Maybe you need to practice some self-love to kind of get that ball rolling. So, you know, it's time hop on your little cute bat and fly into the, into whatever it is that you want to fly into. Sorry, that wasn't very poetic, but you know, it happens. So Libras, Libras, Libras. I know I totally should. I totally should. Like my whole back, my back. I have some space in my back. I can do that, maybe, because I might have to, because I'm obsessed with it. I'm not sure if she'd appreciate that, but <laughs> it's like Jed super fan. <laughs> All right, so we are getting for Libra's death, right? Look at this. Like, seriously, cutest death card ever. I know. I got all my Libras in the house, don't I? Oh, I'm so excited about that. I'm labor too, obviously, I said. So death. You know what? I love this card is so freaking cute, number one. And I really, it's, you know, I think it's one of those things, like, you know, change is coming. You feel it, Libras. Like, you feel that change. And it's one of those things that, yes, I know you are too. That's right. Oh, God. I got, like, Team Libra. Like, it's so so excited about this. Um, like I feel though, Libras, that you know that this change is coming. You know that something needs to change. You feel it. 
it's there. It's waiting. It's just like hanging out. It's like, I feel like as this little guy right here, look at him. He's just waiting. He's like, oh, hey, I'm ready. I'm ready to come out. <laughs> right, right. And it's like one of those things, like if you keep ignoring it, this guy is going to be like, oh, hey, I'm right behind you. I'm here. Yep. You do need to make that change because if you don't, I'm going to have to help you along and it's going to be a little dramatic. So probably time for you to step into that energy. So I don't know, Libras, do we accept this? Do we accept this challenge? I think we do. Oh, yes. Yeah, right, right. It is. No, and I, I agree, Interfacto. It is. And, you know, and because I am a Libra too, like I, I totally am feeling that that change. And I think too, this time of year, you know, for us, like in the US, because we're getting, you know, September or in, we're August, almost to September. But I read a thing the other day that said um, August is the Sunday of summer. And oh, that hit, man. That hit. I was like, really and we have very short summers where I am and so it was really like crap it's the Sunday of summer and so again that brings that like feeling of that change of the season and that all of that so guys there's lots of lots of energies going on here so let's see what we got oh we got a fluorite oh I love fluorite so fluorite we have organization clearing and priorities priorities. Okay, death card, we hear you, right? <laughs> Not, I know. I Yeah, it's, it's very interesting, the weather there. Like, even when we were there, like, we're getting super hot, right? It's hot right now. But once August hits two at night, it, it gets really chilly. So it's, again, that change. <laughs> I love it. I love that we have the Libra tribe here today. It makes me so happy. All right, Scorpio. What do we got for you? Scorpio. Don't ask why I have to sing and it just happens. Oh my gosh. Really? Like already? Damn. We're like 90 and everybody here is like just like legit dying. Like, oh my God, it's so hot. But then it'll be like 68 or like 65 tonight. All right. So then we, here we got... Scorpio is that empress energy. Look at that. Love that. Oh, oh, dear. You're really, you're like Libra, Libra. Woo. All right. So, guys, this card. Like, come on now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You got like a little bit of everything. Like, I feel like it's just like you're not sure what's going to happen. Like, every day it's going to be different for you. So, Scorpios, we have the Empress for you. So Scorpios, I feel like for you, that is really about, um, you know, it's like stepping out of your own head. For some reason, that's the phrase that jumped out for me. And I think, you know, instead of worrying so much about how yourself and how you're feeling and getting like in that deep, dark well, I feel like it's time for you to really nurture other people and other situations, maybe a friendship, maybe a relationship, maybe a work relationship, because I feel like that nurturing energy is is really like what you need right now. Like you need to make that a vibe so that it, it it keeps that cycle going because I feel that, you know, sometimes you can really just get really lost in the thoughts and the feelings of something. And, you know, by helping others, you know, you help yourself, right? So I think that's really what your message is, Scorpios. And let's see what we get. Oh, we got Cinnabar. Oh, fancy. So these have a little bit of a, some of, oh, these are kind of like the crystal itself is a little glossy. So for Cinnabar, again, another Leo type crystal. And this is about like inspiration, manifesting, and those sorts of things. So I feel like too that by also nurturing other people, you're going to be bringing in what it is that you want to manifest because you're opening that energy like, and you're, you're letting the universe know, again, that you're ready to receive. Because, you know, always a good thing to do that. All right, Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius. What do we got for you? 
Oh, you know what else I got to do this weekend? Actually, I thought I just remembered about, um, I got to go, I got to go meet the tarot lady, Teresa Reed. Um, we've been friends online, obviously, and she had a book signing a couple hours away from me. So I went and saw her and it was awesome. I did a blurb in her new book, Twist Your Fate. So it was really cool. Like that she was, she, um, they asked me to do that. And she's so, so sweet. All right, so we got jumpers. All right, these cards are just jumping out. And actually, the other the another book I did a blurb for was Estrella and Jason Mankey book. Um, I don't remember the god. It's like Greek gods or whatever. It's a big book. And they asked me to do a blurb for that one too. So that's coming out really soon. And that's really exciting too. It's so much fun to do that. And I love it that they just like... It's cool, too, because they send it to you just like a PDF, you know. It's like all like not together yet. And they're like, read this book. Tell us what you think. Hmm? I can do that. All right. So Sagittarius, we have the Page of Pentacles. Look how cute. So with this page energy, so it's kind of like just that. Thank you. It's like that, um, you know, I feel like for you, it's Sagittarius. It's kind of like that harnessing that kid-like energy. Because right now, I feel that's going to like really move you forward and get you um, where you need to go. And thanks, everybody. Oh, hey, Jamie. And I really think that for you, it's, you know, just keeping that childlike wonder. You know, sometimes we get so serious in our lives and we don't, you know, we, we don't pay attention to these little things going on. And I feel like by doing that, like, I want you to chase the butterfly. I want you to like look outside and watch the birds. And I want you to do these little things because it helps like kind of reset you and like your mindset. And I think that's really important for you, Sagittarius, right now. So, or, you know, you know, a favorite, you know, I always love coloring. Coloring is so relaxing. You may just be me. I don't know. But now that, I guess not, because now you have all these adult coloring books and they're like so, like they're really nice. And um, actually, um, I bought for my friend, it was a coloring book and it's called People of Walmart. And it was so stupid, but I had to get it for her and it was literally, it was very interesting and they made a coloring book out of it. Amazon. Thank you, Amazon. People of Walmart coloring book. So it was pretty hilarious. So let's see. Let's see what we got here for you. We got Lapis Lazuli. And that's about royalty, a transformation. So I love that, um, you know, and actually this is a Sagittarius crystal. So this goes right along with it, Sagittarius. Just about harnessing that energy and like you're ready to, um, you know, step into these bigger energies. And, and you need to do, it's time to do that. And you need to, you know, buy going back to that childlike wonder, it'll inspire you to step into those bigger things. That's what I got from that. No, seriously. Like, you want me, I can find the most ridiculous things and, like, seriously, things you never just thought existed. I don't know. It's like a gift. Like, I mean, come on. I bought a whole advent calendar that was supposed to be David Bowie and it was full of, like, reject McDonald toys. You know, we just have to embrace our gifts, whatever they are. <laughs> All right, so Capricorn, let's see what we got here for you. So Capricorn, we got the three of wands. Aw. Yes, wands. Look at their bones. Like, stop it. How cute is that? Um, so for you, Capricorn, I think it's it it's time to <laughs> right? Everybody's like, are you going to do it next year? I'm like, I'm kind of afraid of what's going to happen. Like what? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I come across when the time is right. And maybe we will do another ass backwards advent calendar. That was not David Bowie at all. And was very disappointing. I was like at least one David Bowie thing. Nah, got a pink piano, all of that. Oh my gosh, it does. Let's see who it's a bat. I, it's, I got a glare. Oh, it's a baby bat in the little cage. So here, you know, for me, for this Capricorn, um, you know, right away, I just thought about releasing in the full moon. 
obviously buy the card that kind of even goes with it. But I really think that it's important um, for you to, you know, it's about releasing what you don't need, but also deciding what it is that you need and keeping that with you. Because sometimes when we, no, I'm telling you this deck is, it's, it's stupid cute. Um, but, you know, we talk about releasing with the, the full moon, right? We got to release all the things, release, 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 right? But sometimes we get so carried away with that and we're almost releasing things that we shouldn't be releasing because maybe it's there for a reason. So Capricorn, I think that's really what it, you know, I think that you doing some releasing with this, this full moon coming up on the 11th is a good idea. But also as you're releasing, again, asking that why question, why am I releasing this? Why do I feel like I need to release this? Because I feel like there might be a couple things that you're like, I don't know, just because I'm supposed to. No, that's not the answer. So something to think about. Something to think about, Capricorns. All right. And for you, oh, we got the rose quartz. So nurture, unconditional love, all of those things. And I think it's really important for you to, um, as you're doing, again, that releasing and getting, you know, letting things go, doing it in a nurturing way and thanking it. Again, that gratitude's going to come popping in here. So there's that. All right. Whoop. And we're almost to the end of our Z a Zodiac, too. So if anyone wants a card, let me know. You can put it in the comments or just use a little question bubble. And I'm just going to obviously just throw cards all over the place here. It's what's happening. So Aquarius, got another jumper for you. So we have the King of Cups. Aquarius. It just, it just looks Aquarius. Um, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, for you, when, at, when the water, like you see how the water is calm, but it's rippling, you know, so there are some little things happening and going on, but you're going to be you're going to be like the better person this, you know, you know what? I mean, we all want to be the better person, but this week, especially because we're doing it for this week, especially with all this energy going on and that brings all the emotions going on. Um, I think for you, it's really just about, you know, kind of going with the flow of things. Don't get stuck on any one thing, situation, person, um, relationship, any of that. And just kind of really like, be the king of your emotion and just be like, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to let that go. I'm not going to sweat the small stuff. So that is what so we got for you. Aquarius. And we got a septarian. Ooh, I love that. So that's about communication, being fearless. And sometimes you have to do that, right? Because it's so important. Like it's so easy to get lost in our emotions all of us do that. No matter what sign you are, you can do it, that can happen. But I think for you, it's just really about taking charge of your emotions and not being like being fearless about it. Because you know that even though like, you're going to be that king of cups and you're going to hold it like, you know what, like you're, you're holding that your little cup of emotions, you know, you get to decide what's in it and what's not. And you're just going to hold it. And you're just going to let the things happen that there are happen because they don't involve you. And also, always a good thing to do to Aquarius is just, is this my problem? And I'm going to tell you 90% of the time it's not. So I, that is something that I started doing a couple of years ago with things going on and people wanting to help, you know, certain, and you want to help people, of course, but it's like, is this my problem? And it really, that helps to kind of release you from the situation. I don't, it works. It works. I'm telling you. All right. Let's get a card for Brandy. And I have this like eye twitch. And <laughs> it's driving me crazy. <laughs> wow, it needs to stop. All right. Let's see, Brandy. What do we got for you? The devil. Didn't we get this for you last time? I feel like we did. Um, yes, and that's sorry. Yep, yep. Um, balance between empathy and it's not my bullshit. Exactly. Yes. Um, so Brandy, we got the devil. So I feel that for you, <laughs> they do look like they do look like Pac-Man ghosts. Noted. Noted. So I feel like for you, 
that things are going to be coming up for you and you're going to be really tempted to again like again, like again it's like that not my problem situation right like you can be involved in it and you know that you can stir the pot you 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 can stir the pot a little bit you can like you know that what you say will make an impact but i feel like for you it's like is it worth it just because we can doesn't mean we should so that's what I'm getting for you, Brandy. Just, I'm just saying. All right, so eyelash fight. I know you wanted a card. Let's do that. All right. For you, I got the five of cups. Yeah, this is a yeah five of cups. Five of cups. So, um, eyelash fight. I feel like for you, um. You may be sensitive this week, you know, you may feel that you, you may feel like the energy is heavy. There's just a lot going on for you. And it's kind of one of those, like, am, can I do this? Like, can I get through this week? Can I deal with all this heavy energy? And the question, the answer actually is yes, you can. Um, and you know, even in this card too, like you, you know, you got, again, it's almost like that four, like that mad card, like, uh, nothing is great, but know that you can seek comfort like up here you see like all these comforting things like this nice little look and it's even got a little heart on top like just comfort you know drink whatever that is for you and knowing that you you can or you should reach out to others when you're feeling a certain way because sometimes we just get so caught up in our heads that um <clears throat> we kind of get like we kind of lose the point of whatever it is we're mad about or upset about so i think for you eyelash fight is really about talking to somebody this week reaching out whoever that trusted person is for you um and just kind of just having a bitch fest with them and i feel like that will make you feel so much better like don't just hold it in it's time for you to do that so that's what i got for you Oh, you're welcome, Brandy. All right, so that brings us to Pisces. All right, Pisces. Pisces, we have the Ten of, we're getting some swords going on here. So we have the Ten of Swords. And I'm just looking at this. I just wanted to look at this. So Pisces, we have the Ten of Swords. And even though it's a Ten of Swords, it's really cute. Um, But I feel like for you, there's past situations that might be popping up this week and it's really important for you to remember to keep them in the past. They are over. It is done. It's, you know, it's not going to, you know, affect you anymore. It's not going to, you know, or, or like even just diving back into it and diving into these past experiences, feelings, and all of those things. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help you move forward. It's always great to, um, you know, go back and, you know, think about, you know, if you want to think about it, thank it, resolve it in your head, rewrite the situation. Our brains don't remember, you know, our brains don't know the difference between a thought and a memory. Like it's just there. It's just, that's what comes up. So you can rewrite things that aren't, that are in your past. Um, and you're not rewriting and forget them because we're not going to forget them. And maybe we really needed to learn from them, but we need to just make it so that it's not so sharp anymore and by doing thanking the situation rewriting the situation you're just softening it a little bit so that it isn't something that's like jarring you all the time so Pisces I think that's something really important for you to remember um, as you go into this week and of course all of this energy of this week so for you oh I got a snakeskin agate I don't know that I've ever seen one of these in real life interesting but it's about strength it's about self-love. So this goes right along with it. And just, again, just being comfortable in your skin, being comfortable in your head with the thoughts that are there, making peace with them so that you can, you know, keep moving forward. Because we always, that's what we want to do. We all want to keep moving forward. We don't want to be stuck in an energy and just lost in it. We want to keep moving forward. So I think that's like, that is that reminder of just being comfortable with yourself, being comfortable with those things about ourselves that we may not even like or the situations or whatever that happened they're not going to go away they're going to be there because they're stuck in our head but just like making peace with them um i think really will help you pisces move forward Whew. so yeah we just got through the whole zodiac um and so i will definitely tag 
the the deck in the post when it reposts so that you can take a peek at it um, if you so desire. And um, it does come over, I think from the UK. It's a little, you know, it's one of those decks that are a little bit more than I usually would spend, but it's well worth it. And you guys got to play with it with me today anyway, so then you can see. I don't know. I definitely recommend it. Some are just worth it. It's just worth it sometimes. So if nobody else would like a card, we I think we're all set here. And I, you know, again, happy Lionsgate. Take advantage of this energy. Really, you know, it kind of jump, be like that fool and jump into it. And like, what is it that you want? And why do you want it? What do you want to bring in? All of those things, you know? And then we have this new moon, or I'm sorry, full moon coming up on the 11th let go what you don't need, but remember to do it mindfully. Why am I letting it go? Why am I doing that? Because we can just go through all the motions and we can make all the Instagram posts and we can do all of those things that make it look super pretty. But if we're not having any intention behind it or know why we're doing it, it's really, you're not doing it for any reason other than a really cool Instagram picture. So I think that's just something like to keep in mind as you go through the week. So that's it. I hope you guys have a fantastic week ahead and I will see you next week. Bye.